the first scene I'm going to film in my next drama film called Puff is probably the most complicated scene. Uh, it's probably the most difficult, so I'm going to film that as the first part of the film to get out of the way. And uh, it involves ten, about 10 police officers arresting Evan and the person he just delivered 50 kilos of puff to. So if you look at these, you can get these clothing on eBay, second-hand police uniforms. So I'll buy some of these. And as you say, they're really cheap. You can get them from nine quid, just under nine quid, up to about, oh, what's that one, 16 quid. This is, this is authentic police clothing. So some of the actors will have these on. I'll also show you uh, the baseball caps that you can get. Where is it? Please. Oh, you can get these signs as well. These are uh, these uh, patches. They're 11 inches by four wide. So I'm going to get some of these as well to sew on the backs of uh, the police coats. Um, also, I'll show you the, uh, where is it, uh, where is that, uh, police, where is it, baseball caps, base, baseball cap UK, okay, so you can see the, if I go scroll through them, Oh yeah, these will be absolutely ideal because this is what police wear. I've actually seen them wearing these recently when I went to East Croydon train station. So I'll be able to get the jackets, the hats. You can also get police beanies as well, beanie hats. Let me find that. Police. Yeah, these as well. So, because I've got a little budget, it means I'm able to buy these things in the future and it should make my film look more authentic. Because as I say, the scene involves 10 police officers. Uh, three of them jump out of a car, drag Evan out of a van and the rest of them smash their way through the door into a flat where he just delivered drugs. So I'm hoping that all these little touches, all these little things I can buy, is going to make it look more realistic.